about what happens to Poochie and Mr. Whiskers when you, when you, uh, you enter that doggy door to the great beyond. We love our pets like family, which is why more and more of us are setting up trust funds for them. Larissa Wall breaks it down. Oprah has one, Drew Barrymore has one, and Joan Rivers had one. Do you? You want to make sure that your pets are provided for and they're in the best care possible. Estate attorney Nicole Roman writes pet trusts. Legal documents outlining who will care for your pet should you become incapacitated or die. <laughs> Hotel heiress Leona Helmsley first shined a light on pet trusts in 2007 when she left her Maltese trouble 12 million bucks and her grandkids nothing. A court later dropped the dog's inheritance to two mil. That reportedly covered 1,200 for a year of meals, eight grand for grooming, 60 grand for her guardian, and 100 grand for full-time security. Having a pet trust sounds so over the top Hollywood, but you don't actually have to be rich or famous. These days, they're accessible, affordable, and just a great way to know your pet will be fine without you. Just follow these steps. Talk to the people you plan on naming to care for your pet. As a safety, name a humane shelter that doesn't euthanize and hire a good estate attorney. There's a lot of attorneys out there that are just general attorneys. They're not specialists in estate planning and I don't think they really know what they're doing. State laws and prices vary, but a pet trust can be set up for a few thousand dollars. The details are up to you. You give a gift of 5,000, 10,000, I've seen 80,000. Peace of mind, priceless.